Andy and Dave Daly right here on the Muskegon Channel. I'm Andy O'Reilly. There's Dave Cackley. Welcome to Friday. Thank God, finally. I, uh, yeah. Cindy was out golfing again last night because that's, you know, apparently <laughs> when you're married to a stud like me, uh, golfing in the winter is the best thing to do, right? <laughs> well, no, yeah, it's, it's funny. When you say things like that, you sound like the wife. Well, you know. <sighs> My. Funny. Out golfing again. Well, why can't why can't she just hang out? She with has fun, and that's fine, you know. Yeah, but that's good. I, I, on the other hand, I'm, sat I'm a here. big believer. I'm a big believer in absence from a partner to uh, bring about, um, you know, yeah. feelings of missing the other person. When they're there well, all the time, you can't miss them. I, on the other hand, sat here and enjoyed uh, a night on the couch dozing off. I think I was out by about eight thirty, um, which. Oh. Oh, I love that. Good for you, man. Yeah. And then... Um, a little relaxation. What else did I do yesterday? Oh, I know what I did yesterday. That was exciting. It was supposed to be um, Holton Reading Tutoring Day, which mm-hmm. I was pretty excited about, um, getting down over there to be a part of that. And uh, I show up, and I walk into the office, and I grab the sign-in sheet because, you know, I follow the rules. Mm-hmm. And the secretaries in the office are looking at me, and they're like, Hi, Andy. And I'm like, hi, ladies. Um, and they're like, well, what are you doing here? And I said, well, it's Thursday, isn't it? And they're like, yeah, but we don't have kids. <laughs> it's a half day. Oh. <laughs> so I guess nobody hit me on that memo. Thank you. Uh, of course. Mm-hmm. So it's I looked at- funny how communication in i realized it in uh, the broadcasting industry where it's your profession how things just slip through the cracks oh, left totally. and right all the time they gave us a schedule but you know, with all that? of the with all of the ways to communicate right it's worse now somehow so, yeah right it's worse well i, I yeah. they gave us a schedule but i'm not going to look at that because that was mm-hmm. you know months ago yeah, um, there can. was some discussion of it tuesday which i didn't hear so I'm mm-hmm. standing there in the office of this middle school. These two secretaries are looking at me like I'm the village idiot. And I'm like, um, I could run and get some beer um, since there's no kids here. What, you know, what do you guys want? <laughs> I'll have no duels and you can have the real stuff. <laughs> you drink no duels, by the way? No. I don't think I've ever asked you that. It's like, you know, like uh, if I'm not getting the uh, effect no, of it, if no. I can't get the effect of it, I want the taste. That's taste not it at all. You know, what I, you know what I like that comes close to being an alcohol-flavored beverage? Go ahead. I like Shoot. tonic water with lime. Okay, yeah, I could see. I like that. Yeah. And I've always liked just plain tonic water, um, even when I was a little kid. Mm-hmm. That bitter taste, I always like that. But, you know, the near beers and all that stuff. Oh, God. And that's not, yeah. You know, oh, my God, you know what we got in the fridge? We got a 12-pack of squirt. Have you had squirt in a while? Uh, not the sugar squirt, but I've squirt. had the, the squirt zero. Oh, man, squirt. Yeah. What a great pop. It's Love solid. It's, it's one of those. I get a little. I've been dealing with like a little bit of ass, like acid reflux and stuff, which is you get you know older. It's just a thing. What? Sexual dysfunction. That's what's coming. It's going to fall off. Dude. No, I'm, I'm good. Hey, I've been to more doctors than you. I know my stuff. Uh, okay. Anyway, back to squirt. Sorry, man. Sorry, man. This is coming next. Uh, I'm older than you, too. Uh-huh. I'm wiser. Because I watch BBC Select when you're watching Maud. <sighs> this is life, man. Mm-hmm. I'm here for, I'm here to be your big brother and guide. So Yeah, I appreciate it. You know, I, I already got a couple of those, and then... I don't need. Yeah, look at the job more. they're doing. I don't need more. I don't need more uh, siblings. Look, quite at, look at the job they're doing. I got seven. You know, you want to thank your lucky stars? I'm all. here. That's all I can say. Okay. All right. You gonna do news or are you gonna thank talk you. about your ED? Well, <laughs> um, what I was gonna say, you know, because yeah, I was talking. You, we were talking about you and what you know you got going on. I see Friday. It's another Friday that's way busier. Oh no! Than it's supposed to be. Oh. Friday. It's way busier. Like come last here. week, I had Talk to do to the home and garden thing. Oh, come on. And then bothers? today, you know, today I got to go back into the shop, which I'm usually off day, but uh, we're getting the, the the big stock truck in and like 20 slabs. And I can't have my 65-year-old brother-in-law unloading that all by himself. So I'm like, okay, I'll come in. I'll be there by 930. And 
I'll, I'll knock it out and that'll be good. Then I'm picking up Max for the whole weekend because Alexa's birthday is today. So she needs, you know, she needs a little, uh, Max, we, we both love Max. He's the, well, you, he's you great. He's the best parents. thing, best thing that ever happened to us. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No question. But occasionally, especially when they become teenagers and you're the mom and you do again, most of the heavy parenting, most of that. Uh, you need a break. Okay. You need a break. So uh, yeah, I've got to I've got to go over there and make sure he gets his room clean and the bathroom clean before we take off. Okay. Because you know it's just these these it's just so I got to you know I'm doing that and then uh, I got to cart him around to because he wants to go see go to a, hang out with a buddy. I'm like okay, I'll take you there uh, tonight. No big deal. And uh, yeah, so it's just it's a between that and the shop and i'm like I, I and i love hanging out with him it's just it's just it's a lot of stuff today for me i want to i want to rewind i want to rewind for a second um go ahead you told me that i sound like the wife because cindy mm-hmm. went out with golf last night mm-hmm. yeah and then you basically just said you're going over to your ex's house to clean mm-hmm. her bathroom in your kid's room i'm, I'm not cleaning I'm making sure. oh dude i'm making sure he cleans it you're i'm not cleaning doing her shit. bathroom Oh, I'm not cleaning her bathroom. You're no, cleaning I'm not touching anything in there. I'm not touching anything in his room. His room is disgusting, by the way. You're, it's dude. it is it's like a science experiment that went sideways. I'm not touching you shit in that room. Okay, He's you're cleaning the bathroom and a bedroom today. No, I'm That's not. That's what you're I'm doing. doing That's your birthday present to your either. ex. Today is my room. No, 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 <laughs> no, no. no, no. Have fun cleaning out the lunch pail in a female's bathroom, my friend. No, Good that's not happening. <laughs> and you called me the yeah. wife. <laughs> God bless you. Dude, what, what are you talking about? I'm not going, when are you going to be home? When are you, why can't, why do you have to golf all the time? Why, why can't you just That wasn't it at all. Don't you, uh-huh. Uh, hey, give look. me, give me, give me, I need, I need, okay. She's the one cracking the whip over your ass to get you order. Nobody's no. She asked me no. Well, she might have told me. It's like, yeah, make sure he does this. I, yeah, mm-hmm. we're we're you know, we got to be on the same page. Parentally. All right, I'm Alice. Like, yeah, okay, good luck no. cleaning that house today. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. Good news for cost conscious grocery shoppers Ooh. across the U.S. Aldi is planning to add 800 stores in the coming years. The a grocery chain is uh, hoping to capitalize on shoppers feeling the pinch of inflation. 330 stores will be added in the Northeast and Midwest by 2028. I don't shop there nearly enough because you get good stuff there at really, really, really cheap yeah. rates, especially for some of the cereals and the so. Somebody like chicken, if you, if you eat uh, probably too much frozen food like I do, uh, that's a good place to get some. Uh, decent quality stuff. So uh, I, I highly recommend it. And again, you're going to see, it used to be kind of, there used to be not too long ago, kind of a stigma associated with shopping at uh, some of these, you know, lower well, echelon stores. But now it's like, hey, we're all in this, we're all in this boat right now. Most of us, even if we're doing okay uh, financially, it's, you, you, you cut, to, you cut the corners where you can. I don't think that Aldi is, um, I don't think it's a lower echelon store. I think, I don't that, think so. Yeah, I think, but I think, that's the. I think that the attitude. presentation is European, and we're not used to that at all, right? Because it's a European company. It's yeah. It's a different feel of a shopping a, yeah. experience. So let's say yeah. you you are in, and especially here in Michigan, because we're not used to anything other than Meyer. Right? Meyer, yep. Which, Meyer which is another question hearts, about yeah. Aldi, which yeah. I'd like to know is that there seems to be a very tight relationship between Meyer and Aldi. Because you see them paired up in areas close to each mm-hmm. other a lot. Which is good, right? That's it's interesting, fun. yeah. Um, but um, I think it's a European shopping experience, and I think that people in bigger markets who are used to going to places like bodegas to find things mm-hmm. for shopping, and well, you know, they got a little yeah, bit of everything, and it's a very small mm-hmm. setting. Um, yeah. I just think it's Michigan adapting to a different shopping model. So it looks foreign to us, but mm-hmm. they run with it. It's, it, I mean, it's not like there you're you going go. to um, daily deals where you're buying things that are really coming to an expiration date quick. 
Mm -hmm. uh, which isn't bad either. You know, there's nothing. Yeah, like really. That. And those expiration dates are, are and I, those are the one thing, like, I'm really kind of big on following those for some weird reasons. But mostly when it comes to, like, dairy products, like milk, I will throw, I don't care oh, what yeah. it smells like, I will throw it away yep. the day it expires if it's not gone. What else is happening? Uh, hundreds of marijuana sniffing dogs will soon be out of work in Ohio. Lawmakers are looking to ease the financial burden on police agencies in the wake of marijuana legalization. Nearly 400 police dogs are expected to be retired in the next year. Uh, training for each dog costs around like 20,000 to train them to you know sniff out some stank weed. So I, I think it's this is good. This is a good cost cutting measure. Not really, you know, you, you keep the dogs around for, you know, the heroin and the meth and, and that stuff. Probably don't need it for the Mary Jane. I think that um, their retirement career could be like um, mascots and dispensaries. There you go. See? Perfect. Perfect. You funny is it's in the, in, and I think that's pretty, you know, is that a, is that a downward move? Is it upward? Is it sideways? Who's to say? So, Who's like, over say? in the corner, there's there's Rex. And it's like, at mm -hmm. one point, I would have bit you. Now, everything's yeah. chill. Yeah. <laughs> now we're super chill. Have a gummy. That was super chill. Yeah, you go. Have a... <laughs> Better yet, have a handful. All right. Finally, gas prices spiking again across the state. The cost at the pump is up another 20 cents this week to an average of around 345 up to 369 Many parts of West Michigan, at least that's where I saw it at the local Meyer. Speaking of Meyer, so uh, which m reminds me, I got to get gas when I get out of here. Uh, but again, you know, don't forget to get a dust rag. Don't too. drive as far. It's yeah. a mop and glow. You're gonna need that. First of all, I'm not. I'm not doing any cleaning. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Sorry, Alexa. I know it's your birthday. Sure, pal. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> I got you that kid 14 plus years ago. What more <laughs> do you want from me? Don't forget to get some scrubbing bubbles. <laughs> Here's the thing. Here's here's what she I I, I think will appreciate because I'm gonna make him clean. That like when he leaves his room, usually as mom, I don't think he cleans it enough. Um, and I I'm gonna make sure. I, I'm like, no, dude, that's not good enough. Mm -hmm. That's not good enough. I'm gonna set the bar high today. So, there you go. You're going. I might, I might have your... a, I might have him clean the the cat's litter box twice too. Does, as a little does extra. Does she have a house credit. or an apartment? She has a house. Going over to your ex's oh, she's house. Doing, to clean, she's doing better than, she's doing better house than I am. To clean her house today. Okay. I'm yeah. not cleaning it. Max is cleaning it. I have nothing to do with this. Dude. I am. I'm like the foreman. I'm like the yeah. I'm the foreman of this project. <laughs> I don't do anything. Talk about whips. I over. I oversee. <laughs> I'm gonna oversee this project. I can oversee I you leave. on your then hands and knees leave. scrubbing a floor. No chance. I will. I will <laughs> promise you this. In fact, if you want, I'll even take pictures of Max cleaning oh, okay, and send sure, them to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Sports. I want Max to take pictures, not you. No, no, I ain't. I ain't touching <laughs> any rags. Of Sorry. Course not. Yeah. MSU takes on Iowa. The who who Hoosiers on a Sunday four. 30 tip-off time as they try and improve their NCAA attorney resume. Michigan playing out the season against Nebraska. Uh, they got no shot of getting out of the basement. Uh, that's at noon on Sunday. Pistons win! Pistons win! Pistons win! They beat uh, the Brooklyn Nets 118 to 112. That's sports. All right, it's time for a little Jeopardy. It's Bird Brains today for 1,200. And this okay. one has nothing to do with wearing a French maid outfit. This one has nothing to do with wearing, um, oh, think about this. Think of how effective you would be today had your career as a vacuum cleaner salesman actually panned okay. out. Okay, first of all. You would have been awesome. It was a rainbow cleaning system. It was not a vacuum. How dare you? I, and, uh, and I ain't Mr. Belvedere, so. Uh, sure you're not. Are you going to peel? <laughs> is she, is she going to be sitting on the couch watching all this happen? Is, no, is, no. She's she's going to be out. She's out celebrating. She needs a couple of days to celebrate. So, you know. Dave, peel me a grape and make that boy clean his room. <laughs> yeah. I'm no longer oh, the other oh, half I want to watch of this. Hole. This is great. All right. That's bird enough. brains, 1200. Scientists think the, the Corvus, including the American and carrying this, are the smartest of all birds. Uh, 
Uh, pigeon. Pigeon. It's the crow. The crow! You know what? I was a little too confident saying pigeon. Well, sometimes that happens. I was it's like, I read it, I thought, oh, I know this. Oh, I, and I was getting ready, and then boom, a swing and a miss. It was a, it was a hard swing. I mean, I may have broken the bat on that swing. That's how hard it was. Wow. But, Man, I had to do that math on my calculator. Shoo wee mm -hmm. Let me see here. 56,500 in the hole. And I'm going to tell you what. Since I am the giving good person that I am, you send me a couple of pictures with a toilet brush and uh, the Lysol this afternoon, we'll erase your de Jeopardy debt. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. No, I'm not cleaning anything. Okay. Not happening. Sure it's not. Sorry. Good luck on that. Have a great weekend, Dave. Get those scrubbing bubbles out. See ya!